Boys and girls, are you ready to go on an adventure? Well, Mrs. Hickman's getting ready and we're going on a whole different trip and we're gonna go halfway across the world on this exciting adventure. So sit up straight, pay attention, and here's Miss Hickman. Good morning, young people. I'm so happy to be with you today for this morning's missionary story. I'm thrilled we're going to a brand new country, a place we have never been before. So get your shoes on, pack your bags, we're getting ready to go. I trust you've had a wonderful week. I know that I had the opportunity to meet my new first graders this week, and I'm so excited about meeting back together. We start school on Wednesday. Does anybody else start school on Wednesday? Yes? Raise your hand if you've already started school. Has anybody already started school? That's great. Well, I'm looking forward to Wednesday to get back to school. But today we have a very exciting story planned. We are traveling to the country of India. I hope you can go with us. I'm going to pray and ask the Lord to help us, and then we'll jump right in. All right, let's pray. Father, I love you. I thank you that you answer our prayers. I thank you that you hear your children. I pray that you will be with us today. Lord, I pray that you'll speak to these ones that are listening. I pray that I'll be clear. Thank you for the opportunity to open your word. Thank you for um, people that we can learn from their lives. Please be with our pastors and um, our teachers this week as they start school and the people who are leading us, please be with our president and our nation. We love thee. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let me introduce you to my friend named Amy. Now, Amy was born 153 years ago, so obviously she is not still alive, but she lived in the last hundred years. And Amy was born in the country of Northern Ireland. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Northern Ireland, but it is beautiful. The most beautiful scenery you will ever see. And that's where Amy was born. And she grew up in a strong Christian home, and she became a Christian, and she knew that she wanted to serve the Lord. And even since Amy was a little girl, she would see how her parents would pray, and God would answer their prayers. And you see, Amy lived very close to the ocean. What color is the ocean? The ocean is... <gasps> Blue, you're exactly right. And Amy just loved the blue ocean. She loved the blue ocean so much that she wanted blue eyes. Now, Miss Hickman has brown, brown eyes. What color eyes do you have? Yes, I see different color eyes. Well, Amy had brown eyes, but she really wanted blue eyes because she loved the ocean. And she thought, I'm going to pray and ask Jesus to change my eye color. I know he is able to do that. And let me just take a break and tell you, God is able to do that. So sure enough, Amy knelt down by her bed just as a little girl, just as she had seen her mother and her father and other requests, and she was going to pray in faith, believing that God was going to change her eye color. So sure enough, she prayed that night and asked Jesus to give her some beautiful blue eyes just like the ocean. And she was so excited to go to sleep because she just knew as she was sleeping that God would miraculously change her eye color. So the next morning, she wakes up, jumps out of bed, runs to the mirror, opens her eyes, and sees that they are brown. Oh, how she was so disappointed. She didn't understand. She had seen God answer so many prayers, and she thought, Lord, I, I know I prayed in faith, believing. Why didn't you not answer my prayer? And she went downstairs to her mom and said, Mom, God didn't answer my prayer. I know he can answer prayers. Why did he not answer my prayer? And her mother began to explain to her, Amy, God did answer. He just said no. And young people, did you know sometimes in our lives, God is going to tell us no. Amy had to realize that that was an answer. I was thinking this morning, if I woke up and I went into my mom and I said, Mom, hey, there's a box of a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. Can I eat all 12 donuts for breakfast? My mom would probably say no, right? Now, if she said that, I would not say, Mom, please give me an answer. Can I please eat these donuts? Because she's already given her answer. Well, did you know that God answers our prayer sometimes by saying no? No. And we're going to learn a little bit later why God said no. It's really an exciting thing. So Amy, of course, woke up with brown eyes, and her mom explained that, look, God said no. He did answer your prayers. Sometimes he says yes, and sometimes he says no. Amy went about her business and grew up, and she, of course, attended church, and there was a missionary that came to her church, and he was talking about how he traveled around the world to tell people the gospel. 
Somebody remind me what is the gospel. It is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You got it. And this missionary was talking about how he was sharing the gospel, and Amy thought, I would like to share the gospel. And after a couple of years of praying, of asking the Lord what he would have her to do, the Lord called Amy to be a missionary to the country of India. Amy knew that's exactly where she was supposed to go. So sure enough, she packed her bags after, uh, after much turmo turmoil and um, she didn't have all the support that she needed. But finally, the Lord provided and she was on her way to India. And of course, when you first get to a country, you have to learn how to speak the language. So Amy began studying very hard the Tamil language. That's what they spoke there in the part of India that she was in. And, and she began studying, and it was difficult, but she found out something was more difficult than even learning the language. She found out that the culture was so different. The culture is the way that people live and the way that they think and the way that they're taught in a country. She realized that she had to learn the culture in order to reach these people. Just because she spoke the language, they would not listen to her because, you see, Northern Irish, Ireland people thought so different from these Indian people, and they could not relate. Even though they were speaking the same language, there was not much being discussed because they were so different in their cultures. So uh, uh, she would watch as people would go in and out of this temple or a, a church-like place. And she thought, I would really love to know what is going on in that temple because if I could figure out what they're teaching them in that temple, I'd be able to figure a little bit more about the culture and then I could reach them with the gospel. Then I could tell them the good news. But any time Amy would get up and go to the temple doors, there'd be a guard standing there. And he would say, you cannot come in here. You do not look like these people. You are an outsider. No outsiders allowed in the Indian temple. Oh, so Amy had to think of a way where she could get into that place so she would know what they're teaching them so then she would know how to better teach them the gospel. So she got this idea. Now, in this cup, I have something. I wish you could smell it because you would know exactly what it was if you could smell it. It's not dirt. It looks a little bit like dirt. Somebody else guessed today that it was makeup. It's not makeup. It is coffee coffee grounds and so she took those coffees you put a little water and she rubbed it all over her skin so she would have dark skin like the Indian people you see people from Northern Ireland did not have dark skin because the Sun doesn't shine so much there so they have really fair skin really white pale skin so she thought I know I'll take this coffee and I'll rub it all over my skin so I'll have dark skin Ooh, she began to look like an Indian lady. And then she got a thing called a sari. That's the special clothes that the Indian people wear. And she thought, ooh, now I'm looking like an Indian woman. And she went to her missionary friend's house and she says, how do I look? And the missionary lady said, oh, Amy, you look just like an Indian person. And then her friend said, I'm so glad you don't have blue eyes. And immediately, Amy was taken back. To that time that she was a little girl and she prayed and God told her no why did God tell her no because he had a plan for her and young people did you know that even in my life in the last year I was praying about some things and I was looking forward to some things and I thought I wanted to do some things but God told me no and there's two ways that I can react to that I could spiritually think and go sit and pout and think, fine, God, if you're not going to let me do that, then I'm just going to sit here and do my own thing and not serve you anymore. I could say that. Or I could realize that God told me no because he has a bigger plan. It immediately took me to a verse. If you have your Bibles, we can find it in Isaiah chapter 55. In verse 8, the Lord is speaking, okay? This is what the Lord says to us young people. The Lord says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I was reminded today as I went outside, I looked at the heavens, right? That's the sky. And I looked at the ground, and then this verse is saying, which is higher? Young people, which is higher? The heavens, the sky, or the earth? Which is higher? Of course, the heavens. 
And God reminded me today, hey, Lauren, look up. Do you see how the heavens are high, is higher than the earth? And I look and think, yeah, obviously. God is reminding me, hey, listen, my ways, my thoughts, my plans, he is telling me his ways, his thoughts, his plans are so much higher than my thoughts, my plans, my desires. And sometimes he has to tell us no. Because he loves us. And he has a plan for us. If he would have changed Amy's eye color when she prayed as a little girl, she would not have been able to effectively share the gospel with these people like she was able to in India. Now it's exciting. They finally, the guards finally let her into the temple because she looked like an Indian woman. And she saw something that changed her life. Next week. We're going to find out what she saw. But I want you to be reminded, as I was, the Lord helped me with this today. Sometimes God says no. And that is an answer. That doesn't mean God hasn't answered. That means he has answered and he said no. And that's not a time to go sit and pout. It's because that his plan is better than your plan. I want you to say with me, God has a plan. Can you say that? God has a plan. He's got a plan for your life. He has a plan for my life. Sometimes he says no. And we might think, why? I just, as she wanted, I want blue eyes. I might think, but God, this is what I want to do. He tells us no because he has a bigger and better plan. Now look, many of you are starting school this week, right? And many of you this week, mom and dad and teachers are going to tell you no. It's going to happen. I want you to remember they are doing that because they love you and they care about you. If my mom would have let me eat 12 donuts for breakfast, do you think my tummy would have felt so good? Of course not. They know best. So this week when you're at school, this week when you're at home and someone in authority tells you no, don't you go and pout. You know that they are looking out for you and they know what's best for you. Okay, look, I look forward to being back with you next week. We're going to find out what Amy saw in the temple. I'll see you then.